Have dry clay. You want to add in some moisture, like lotion. Then you're going to rub that on your clay, and you don't want to go any bigger than a golf ball size. And then I like to start coils with what I call a cigar shape. It's basically starting that cylinder in the palms of your hands. And then whenever I roll, you want to make sure you roll with your whole arm, starting with the shoulder. A lot of times people will try to just do it with their hands, and it ends up making your coils really flat. So notice how I'm rolling with my whole arm and I roll across my entire palm and I even bow my fingers upwards just to really make sure that my palm is doing all of the work. As you roll, it's important to make sure you're applying pressure through the middle because that tends to be where it gets thick and I'm always going back and forth. You wanna do this until you're a consistent thickness and typically a little bit bigger than a pencil, but not quite as thick as your pinky. All right, and then what I do with my coils is I like to compare them to whatever I'm going around. And I'll go, I'll overlap. So notice how I overlapped here. I'm gonna take my needle tool and I'm gonna cut through like this. I'm gonna get rid of the extra part. And notice I also got rid of this kind of end that was a little puny. So that way I know this matches up great whenever I'm done. I can't just stick it on there because if I do, as it dries, these two are just gonna separate. So I'm gonna take my witch's broom, my scoring tool. I'm gonna go ahead and score all the way down. I'm gonna go and add some moisture. So this is me creating slip. So water on my scoring tool. It's gonna to start making it really sticky in there. All right, when I score, I don't just wanna score one side, I also have to score wherever I'm gonna attach it to. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna score with a little bit of moisture. If I feel like it's still not sticky enough, that's what I have a paintbrush for. I'm gonna use a paintbrush. I'm gonna add some drops of water. The thing is, is you don't wanna accidentally smooth out your score line, so be careful. If you overdo the water, you can sometimes get rid of them, so you can even go back in and add some more texture to it. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and press a score slip. I'm gonna press this down. So lots of pressure to make sure that suction is really tight. And then smoothing, I like to start the smoothing process with my thumb. Kind of go back to pressure the whole time. All right, and then I even like to use my paintbrush to create like a suction seal. All right, so typically what I'll do is I'll do three of these coils, so pretend like this is a full one. I'll do three layers high, and then after my third layer, that's when I'm gonna come through with my rib tool. The reason I don't like to do this every single time is because I feel like I can just cover more ground quickly, and this is pretty small, but I like to use my rib tool to help me then go around and completely smooth out that crack. This makes it watertight and it's really gonna ensure that my coils aren't gonna separate. All right, now if these rib tools leave some texture behind, that's when you can just take a rib at the end and go all the way through and smooth it out. So notice one pass might leave a little bit of detailing. That's whenever I'll just kind of go through with my finger and just refine the rest of it. If it's a really bad area, let's say I have a really big divot, I can always take a little pinch of clay. I call these band-aids, these little band-aid pieces. Just add a little bit of water and you can always like press those into the really big areas and you can smooth those out to help get rid of those cracks as well. All right, and that's it.